Who knew that they made Knight Rider cards? Let's discuss. So while I was placing uh, an order on Sport Lots, I was perusing uh, some of the other cards some of the other sellers had when I came across uh, these Knight Rider cards. I have no idea. I've been collecting for a really long time. I had no idea that there were Knight Rider cards out there. So this is from 1983 Don Russ. Um, so it normally, I, I assume uh, with all these movies, and television show cards um, that Tops is the manufacturer, but in this case, they're coming from Donruss. And so, yeah, so um, uh, here are a few of the cards I picked up, and this is how awesome is this card? It's from the you know the beginning scene of the show uh, when they're introducing everything. God, you have the red beam right there on Kit. Just a great, great looking card. And super happy with the condition of these cards too. And then we have another uh, um, shot of Kit I'm driving down the road there. So just some absolutely fun cards. So these cards are just like any of the movie and TV show cards from that time era where they just took you know little uh, clips of the Im or images from the show themselves. Uh, so some of the cards um, are not really the best because you know the it's like a kind of a fuzzy shot of an action scene. Um, so like real happy with this guy, real clear shot of Kit there. Uh, once again, another good shot of him there. And then I just like this one um, with old Michael Knight hopping out of the car, which he did so many times in the show. A couple other fun features too. One is the numbers for the cards are on the front, just like we see with the Star Wars cards and some of the other series out there. And because on the back you have kind of like the little puzzle pieces, so there's nothing, no, no real anything on the back. And then too, I love the little kind of '80s kind of graphic down there at, on the bottom as well. So just some fun little features to these cards. I'll go ahead and show you a few of the other cards I purchased off Sport Lots besides finding these awesome uh, Knight Rider Donner's cards. So besides these, um, it was a, one of my best Sport Lot uh, purchases ever. I already did a video on this, but this is 1937 Will Cigarettes of a Golden Retriever. I have a Golden Retriever. I made a whole video on it. I thought it was going to actually be the rookie card, but there's one actually older, which I will be trying to find. It's a really cool card. And then, of course, I was the whole purpose, I was starting to look for some more Star Wars cards. So I found this awesome shot here of Luke and Vader going at it on the Death Star right at the end. Really good condition as well. I found a couple Darth Vader cards to pick up too. Just a nice shot of him there. And then, of course, I'm always looking for some of the older school wrestling, especially Hogan. And love this shot of him here. I want to say this is the 1990 classic card of his. And then uh, another Vader card there. Looks like it has Anakin in the background. And then a few other purchases. So I'm trying to uh, complete the 1986 Topps football set. So just a few pickups here. Leslie Frazier uh, from the Bears. Danny White, quarterback for the Cowboys at the time. Um, looks like he's got his warm-up jacket on. Kurt Warner. Uh, running back for the Seahawks, Tommy Kramer, Vikings quarterback. This is right when I was getting into football, and so Tommy Kramer stands out uh, pretty big time to me. Pretty good stats, you know, especially passing yard wise. Almost 3,500 yards passing, uh, close to 20 touchdowns that year, which has been was probably quite a bit for how football is being played back then. The you got the Cardinals card here, St. Louis Cardinals. A nice little, I like the jerseys in that card there too. And then I picked up 1,000, I love the 1,000 yard club. Now the one drawback with purchasing cards and sport lots is it's really a crapshoot on the condition. I mean, they, they they tell you the condition, but sometimes the condition can be a lot nicer than what you they state, and then you just never know. So you can see all the little white marks there. That is fine. I will try to pick up a better version of this later on down the road. So yeah, so, but like I said, the big find was 
the Knight Rider card. So how cool is this card? 